Do we need deserts on the planet? Yes, we need deserts. Deserts might look like barren wastelands, but they are far from it. They host a wide variety of life, and though they're far apart, sand from the Sahara Desert is crucial for life in the Amazon rainforest. Vast stretches of land covered with sand, having little to no presence of life, and occasional silhouettes of camels on the backdrop of a setting sun across the dunes. These are the kind of images that pop to mind when someone hears or thinks of a desert. Regardless of the romanticism that these mental images possess, deserts are largely believed to be one of the most difficult places for any organism to live. Such apparent lifelessness, prevailing harsh environmental conditions, and the depressing emptiness has made people consider deserts to be both ecological and economic wastelands. However, there is no dearth of reasons as to why deserts should be considered as unique geographical and ecological features on the planet, and why we should think of these ecosystems as critical to life as we know it. Let's explore that a little bit. What kinds of deserts do we have on Earth? To understand the importance of desert ecosystems, we first need to know the different types of landscapes that fall under this umbrella term. True deserts are often defined by the presence of certain environmental conditions, such as less than 25 centimeters of average annual rainfall and high levels of evaporation of water from the soil. Under such a definition fall a whole range of habitats, some more apparent as deserts than others. Deserts of the world are largely classified into four distinct categories. Coastal deserts. It's a no-brainer that coastal deserts are large stretches of sandy areas located next to a sea or ocean and are typically more prevalent on the west coast of the continents. For example, the Atacama Desert in South America. Hot and dry deserts. These are deserts that offer the harshest climatic conditions of all. These are huge patches of land with rolling sand dunes and annual rainfall of less than zero. Huyu 2, 20 centimeters, along with a very high rate of evapotranspiration. An example of this is the Sahara Desert in Africa. Semi-arid deserts. These are deserts with an average annual rainfall of 20 to 50 centimeters, which results in them being comparatively less arid and more favorable for vegetation than the previous category. The Great Basin Desert in North America is an example of this variety. Cold deserts. Unlike the others, these are deserts located in extremely cold areas, generally situated in higher latitudes with low rainfall and high aridity, that is, the Gobi Desert in Central Asia. So what do deserts help support our ecosystem? Deserts are a home to animals. Deserts are mainly known for their sparse landscapes and lack of vegetation, but they also provide a home to many species that can't be found in other places, like the kangaroo rat and cactus wren. Deserts provide the perfect habitat for warm weather creatures to roam around without having to worry about finding food or shelter. It's not uncommon for desert animals to deal with high levels of starvation during the summer months when prey is hard to find. 91 mammal species, 319 bird species, and 67 lizard species call deserts their home. Deserts provide a home for plants. Deserts are home to more than 25% of all plant species found on the planet. Many plants have adapted to survive the dry climate, which often includes extremely high levels of sunlight, little rain or snowfall, and very sandy soils. Despite their bleak appearance, deserts are lush with plant life. They provide a home for cacti and other plants that have evolved to survive in the harsh climate. Deserts are a home to people. They are home to more than 2 billion people who rely on their ecosystem for food security. Desert communities have developed their own culture and handicraft items that play a huge role in the local economy and trade with other cultures. They provide a habitable place for us due to the low population density and plentiful natural resources like oil reserves and minerals. Deserts are a good source of minerals. Despite their inhospitable nature, deserts are an important source of minerals. Deserts are known as mineral wastelands as they have been used as a source of raw materials to make products like bricks, glass, and cement. They contain large deposits of useful minerals such as coal, copper, gold, iron ore, natural gas, and petroleum. Deserts are unique places of adventure. In addition to their mineral value, deserts also have a high rate of endemism for plants and animals. 
due to the lack of water and other nutrients found in other habitats, desert species tend to be smaller or shorter than their counterparts in other ecosystems. Deserts are home to some unique creatures like lizards that can store water in their bodies, the camel that can go weeks without drinking water, and small mice that use their large incisors to stay hydrated by chewing on desert plants. Hence, the deserts provide tourists with an opportunity to explore new destinations. Desert vacations are now becoming more popular as people want to experience the desert's barren landscape and unique animals. Deserts are areas of endemism. Desert soils are nutrient-poor, which contributes to the scarcity of plant life and animal species. The low rainfall, lack of water, and vegetation make them good places for scientists to research endangered species and their habitats. Deserts are located in just about every corner of the planet. They are found near the equator, in temperate regions, at higher elevations, in grasslands, in areas with high rates of precipitation, areas with extreme heat, and along rivers. Deserts are key. For ecological studies, deserts are especially good for studying the effects of climate change on animal life. Because deserts are mostly isolated from other habitats, their plant and animal species aren't as affected by outside factors like humans or deforestation. Deserts are also key study areas for scientists looking to research how different species of plants and animals can survive in harsh environments. Deserts are home to many interesting creatures that have adapted to the climate. Humans rely on desert ecosystems for survival as they provide shelter, energy, minerals, and trade opportunities. The deserts of the world are of great importance to the planet and its people. Deserts In the age of humans, Despite all these critical services that deserts provide, they haven't been spared from non-sustainable exploitation by humankind. Deserts harbor 13 of the 15 major mineral deposit types, as well as a considerable amount of mineral oil and natural gas. Many of these resources are harvested in a non-environmentally friendly manner, which leads to the overall degradation of these ecosystems. Large-scale mining, habitat conversions, and the establishment of solar power plants have all been done in the name of making deserts productive lands. However, these choices coupled with climate change have already affected the ecosystem in many detrimental ways. Currently, deserts are one of the most fragile and threatened ecosystems on Earth. Although the expansion of deserts into arid or semi-arid zones is alarming for the planet, a complete loss of deserts is neither wanted nor beneficial for the planet. The absence of deserts will not only impact global biodiversity in the form of species extinction, but will also bring catastrophic changes to the life and livelihood of the billion people who inhabit these spaces and impact the global economy. So as we said at the beginning of the video, yes, we need deserts. Thanks for watching. To stay updated on the latest discoveries, make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications.